today I'm going to walk you through one of our creatures in the outer worlds and part of our process when it came to sound designing this creature. Here at Obsidian, when tasked with a creature, usually we're starting from scratch, especially if it's an alien creature. We don't really have a whole lot of reference to start with, so you kind of got to think outside of the box and try to find ways to make unique and interesting sounds in a way that communicates to the player some sort of emotional response. I've got this rubber dog toy here that I actually found at a local store. And I don't actually have a dog, but I thought it might be a fun prop to try out and see what sort of sounds I could get out of it. I'm going to walk you through some of the recordings I got from this because it made a really unique screeching stuttering sound that actually ended up working perfectly for the Outer Worlds uh, Mantisaur creature. They're these large insect creatures that are very deadly, very powerful, and uh, very scary in the game. So I thought this sound originally, when I stumbled on it by rubbing this toy on my desk, kind of had this high frequency shriek that uh, I think communicates fear in a pretty effective way. So uh, inside of Nuendo here, we've got a couple layers and I'll start with the dog toy recording itself and I'm gonna bypass all the effects on it so we can just hear uh, the raw unprocessed source that I recorded. So here's the dog toy um, with some fades that I recorded uh, rubbed across my desk. So you can hear it has that kind of low frequency stuttery quality and a high frequency shriek that actually worked well for this spiny large insect. So I'm going to turn on some of these effects again and we can kind of walk through some of the layers of how this element adds uh, with other elements that I've recorded or designed to create ultimately uh, the roar for this creature and hopefully it sounds scary. So I'm going to turn these effects back on and I'll play this again for you. All right, so actually not a whole lot going on in terms of effects. In this case, I got really lucky. The source kind of provided the tonal character that I really needed. And in general, with creature sound design, I found that the fewer effects and plugins you use, typically the better and more organic the result sounds anyhow. So let's walk through another layer. So this layer is actually a recording that I did of a hole puncher, and I found that it added to the creature a nice terrifying shriek that I could really accentuate here. So really leaning in on the high frequency content there to kind of sell that shriek of this alien creature as it's approaching you and about to tear you apart. We've got the dog toy layer and the hole puncher layer, and up here a uh, a few more sounds that I generated for this creature. They're actually from uh, various bird recordings with lots of pitch processing applied. I'll play another one for you. Resell of that. All right, so all together, all four of these layers create the roar sound of one of our alien insect creatures, the mantisaur. All right, so as you can see here, these four layers basically get propagated out for uh, about 10 to 15 variations so that we can keep up the immersion with the creatures in the world while they're running at you and attacking. And we never want the player to feel like they're hearing the same vocalization over and over again. So especially in big games like The Outer Worlds, we need to make sure that we have enough uh, content to support many variations. Here's a variation of the attack sound. Here's a slightly different variation. And a few more. And one final variation. So they're all uh, pretty similar, but just a little bit different, just to really sell the realism of the creature um, as if it is grounded in the world.
So that's an example of how、uh, we might come up with a sound design element for a creature attack sound.